Hey, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. It is Congressman Jamie Raskin from Maryland's beautiful 8th Congressional District uh, wishing everybody a really sweet and wonderful Thanksgiving. And um, I hope you will enjoy this one day early presentation of Local Hero. Uh, and it's appropriate it's coming on Thanksgiving because all of us are extremely grateful for this local hero, Wendy Kent, who is the president of Tommy's Pantry and the founder, or at least the co-founder of uh, Tommy's Pantry. And uh, Tommy's Pantry is an organization in Montgomery County, um, headquartered in Silver Spring and Tacoma Park, but now it's really all over the county uh, addressing hunger and poverty. And it serves 325 families and individuals twice a month. And it's been doing that since 2020. Uh, it gives um, shelf stable food, culturally appropriate food options, fresh produce, wellness boxes that include items that are not covered by SNAP benefits like laundry detergent, toothpaste, mouthwash, period products, and deodorant. Um, Wendy started her career as a graphic designer and in 2000, she chased down her long, lifelong dream of attending culinary school, and she became a classically trained French pastry chef, and she worked for five years at Bistro Beast in Washington. Um, eventually, her focus and her interest turned to lending her skills as a volunteer cook and pastry chef for the unhoused guests at Miriam's Kitchen. And at the same time, she began volunteering with Mana Food Center. Uh, first as a uh, smart snacks volunteer coordinator for three schools, and then also as the volunteer coordinator of the Mana Choice Pantry at Four Corners. Along with the help of Principal Dini and Brian Gehring at Tacoma Park Middle, they started a school family pantry within Tacoma Park Middle. And families and students that were in need were quietly, with no questions asked, given access to this volunteer pantry through teachers and counselors and administrators whenever they needed an extra boost at home for their kids. And um, when it looked like school was going to close down for the pandemic, um, three feeder elementary school PTA presidents helped Wendy and this wonderful team get the food out of the pantry and then distribute it to local families. And, um, and that was the beginning of Tommy's Pantry. And it's really grown into something sensationally moving and important in our community for all of these reasons, for everything you do every single day, Wendy Kent, you are our local hero this Thanksgiving, November 23rd, 2023. Thank you very much, Congressman. I um, It is my honor to be here and to represent Tommy's Pantry and all of our volunteers and all of our board members. Um, this pantry has, has become my life's passion. Um, I started out working at a, a Miriam's Kitchen. That was my first volunteer job in Mana Food Center. Mana taught me everything I know about how to run a food pantry. Um, that is a place that is near and dear to my heart because they, they take good care of this county. Um, so they've taught me everything I know. And uh, we are looking forward to a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, distribution on this Saturday so that families can have the food already. And um, we, are, we have included, because of our generous donors who are almost all local families and individuals, uh, we are including a gift card for each family in the boxes so they can go and pick the things that they like to have for Thanksgiving, uh, which is part of our, part of our thought process is that people should have their own personal dignity. And part of your personal dignity is eating what you like on Thanksgiving. <laughs> so people can go and buy a few things on their own and then we'll give them some other staples. Well, that's beautiful. And just to be clear, that's something that when this airs on Thanksgiving Day, we will have already done uh, last Saturday. Um, and my family will, will certainly be out there with all of the wonderful volunteers and with your family, um, John and your daughter, Sarah, 
um, passing stuff out, um, but I just didn't want anybody to think it's coming next Saturday or the, the right. coming Saturday. Um, <laughs> but now, speaking of which, let's talk about that. You, um, Tommy's Pantry is out there twice a month, right? And yes. tell us um, uh, what goes on behind the scenes to create this operation, uh, which seems so smooth. Uh, my wife, Sarah, is always marveling about how efficient it goes and how remarkable it is. But there's a lot of work that goes into it. And just tell everybody how you make it happen logistically. Well, we uh, yearly, we give out 11,000 boxes of food, produce, wellness boxes. We have about 1,400 volunteers per year. Uh, and those people, uh, we give boxes on the first and third Saturday of every month and the second and fourth Saturday we pack them so uh, between the days that we distribute we are ordering and bringing food in um, we have very small space generously given to us by um, um, a church that volunteered their space during the pandemic they gave us all of their basement um, their basement is now used again, so we have a very small space that they let us keep having. Um, so we always have to get the food in pretty much every time we do a pack. And we do the same thing with the wellness boxes. The wellness boxes, most of those items come from Dollar Tree. And so it's a, it's a caravan of cars driving over to Dollar Tree, <laughs> hefting a lot of laundry detergent, pretty heavy stuff <laughs> into our cars. And then we come back to the to the church and we put them away. So there's a lot of, you know, you know, there's people that come for the distributions, there's people that come for the packs, and then there's people who come during the week just to get everything in there and get it ready to pack. Yeah, and this is why it, it's a pretty much a full-time job for you, although it's not a job, <laughs> as you're saying, it's a labor of love, it's a passion, right? Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. I've noticed that when when I go, and I, I should say, um, sometimes I admittedly am sleeping in when I should be there on a Saturday, but <laughs> but whenever I, I do go, and Sarah never misses it, um, you see some repeat customers there, but then I also notice sometimes you'll have like a class or the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, or and tell me how that happens. Is that just a word of mouth thing, or can people sign up to bring a whole group of kids or... It's generally word of mouth that they hear about us. And then, yes, they can reach out to us and they can they can come as a group. And we'll just set aside a, a date. And for instance, we did that with a lot of your family members for this weekend. So we've set aside a certain number for your family to come. And then uh, we have, you know, we make up the difference with the sign up on our website. So and yeah, and I, I think like my, my niece Daisy brought... Uh, other kids from her student club at school. Yes, yeah. she knocked me out because mm -hmm. she lives in, elsewhere, far away, and they were there at six thirty in the morning, and they're all teenage girls. So I was very impressed. <laughs> I, I, th I think it's the lacrosse team. Uh, or yeah, yeah I'm not sure I can't remember. Well, um, look, it's such a beautiful thing you do, and one of the things people always say. Um, and I know this is really important to the ethos of Tommy's Pantry is it's no questions asked. It's not like, um, you know, oh, do, do you really need to get a box of food or do you really need help with personal hygiene supplies? It's people show up and then it's given. And tell me why that's so important to what you guys are doing. Well, for several reasons, it's again, personal dignity. Um, I don't want to challenge anyone about why they're there. Uh, my, my feeling and the board's feeling has always been if you're going to spend time in that outrageously long line at a very early hour, you're there because you need to be there. And um, we don't, we don't want to take any IDs. We don't ask names. We've learned names because we do get people that come all the time. And, you know, some people have even become volunteers. Um, so it has always, from the beginning, been you get, you come, you get it. So as long as we have it, we'll share it. 
Well, I can't think of a better message for Thanksgiving um, mm -hmm. because um, we feel a lot of gratitude towards you, but we know how grateful you are for the community to devote yourself with so much love um, to all of our neighbors. And um, it's a beautiful thing to see in Montgomery County. And for everything you do every single day, Wendy Kent, you are our local hero. And I hope everybody will call you up or email you right after Thanksgiving is over to congratulate you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. It was wonderful to see you, Congressman. And I'll see everybody out at Tommy's Pantry. Happy Thanksgiving, sending love to everybody out in Maryland's beautiful 8th District and beyond.